Okay, I've just pushed the kit fox outside. What I'm gonna do now is I got a bungee cord hooked on here. Put the two together, and so what I'll do is I'll take that up to there. And I'm gonna walk this one up here and show you how easy it is to put a kit fox wing. We'll put it right back up again. So I'll hold that flap rod up a little bit there. I'll bring it down now. See, just bringing that right up like that. Now the only thing I did do, I left the wing pin in there. I got a little lubed up with some never sees there. So what I could do is just can't quite see that one there. That looks pretty good right there. That's got it there, James. I just gotta probably could go up a hair or more. Ah. I'm just gonna see if we get that pin in there. Yeah, just hold the wingtip there, Derek. Huh? Just hold the wingtip there from flying backwards. Backwards or forwards? No, push it ahead a bit. You just hold it there, though. Let me get a, I need a little hammer there, I think. Now, Jane, we'll go to the other side now, and I'll put the, put the other one up. Hey, you got a pin in there, eh? Yeah, I'm going to walk this one right out. This flat rod bracket right here, the bearing should be down. And, yeah, bring that right up. Here, babe. So we'll just hang on a second here, Derek. Just gonna line that up. Okay, push it up. Push it in. Yeah. These darn glasses turn dark outside. I can't see it. Okay, just bring it up. Hang on just a second there. Back, back up a bit here. Okay, push it up now. <coughs> Whoop, back up. Back a bit. Okay, up. A bit more. There we go. That's got it right there, I think. That just goes right in there. Maybe we can put the safety pins on that. So that windshield job completely, we just gotta put a safety pin in right here. And we're all set. Just do up that flapper on control rods. I've just tightened those up right there. Just drop in the safety pin right there. And you are ready to roll once you get the clip on. Now remember, I got two safety pins left over. Guess where they go? Right at the front here. Some guys, that's all there is to it, one of these safety pins right there. Some guys have wanted to put these great huge honking bolts in them and a nut. You know what? <laughs> they never go anywhere. I want to show you something else. This plane got a just like a cupboard door hinge on there. It's topped into the spar. Beautiful. Works like downtown. I'll do the other side there now. Same deal here. Just drop the safety pin in there. And flip that over. a little easier there maybe I'm trying to do it with one hand holding the camera <laughs> makes it a little more challenging if you know what I mean especially New Year's Day 
Oh, geez. Anyway, maybe if I bring it around this way, it'll make it a little bit easier. There we go. That's all set. Anyway, that's good. So another thing I've got here too, I made up a couple. Of, I made gap, co gap covers for this area right here. I'm gonna put the turtle, turtle deck on next. Then you see how these gap covers go right up there and cover that off. Let me get the turtle deck on. It's sitting right there, and I'll show you how those things work. Every little bit helps. There's your turtle deck. I'll put it up there right now. And I see I just stood the trail deck right up underneath there. And I think I just missed a bit of it there, so I gotta pull that back a bit and slide that in. Well, that's gotta go up there. Then the trail deck will be right in place. There, that looks like it's got it. Just slide that right in there. Okay, and then your trail deck will just come down. It should just fit right in there. Look at that. Just take a glove. There's one more up there to do up. And it is not much simpler than that to put a wings out on a kit box. They were just an absolute genius making some of these planes, I'll tell you. There's my chintzy little antenna that works damn well. Okay. Now you got one more right here. Now you'll see what I was talking about. The, you want to have some gap, cup, gap covers right there. Well, so let me just see what we got here. Got a couple gap covers here. I think that one is for the other side. And this one is for this side. There's a screw hole that I'm going to put at the back. So you'll see what they do. These are just a wonderful little idea. Get right up on there. Get the screws ready. Just a very simple thing to bend up yourself. I've got a couple of metal brakes, so it makes it easier for me. I'll just get my screw gun and some screws. And these little gap seals are just a neat little way to probably. I don't think you're going to gain a whole bunch, but you know what you are going to gain? You're going to just trim it up. You'll just trim it up a little bit nicer. Well, as you see, just use my screw gun, screw that in. So you can see that cleans up this kit fox quite nicely. In between this gap here, I've got a little bit of a little bubble trim right down there. That helps seal it up as well. Let's go button up the other side, and then this kit fox is going to be ready to go for a little fly, I think. Little flakes of snow coming down. What a beautiful day for flight. I got that all buttoned up there. Now look at that. That gap seal's on there. Just cleans up this kit fox rather nicely. Controls work well there. I hooked the antenna up. So you know what? I think this kit fox is ready to go for flight. It's screaming. <laughs> fly me, fly me, let's go flying. Who wants to go flying? I see we're taking her for a little fly and test on that new windshield. Let's get her going. There, I've set the other side up inside of there. We'll just screw that on there. It'll be all ready to go. Beautiful. <laughs> 